Welcome again, Libra Didici here from astrology.com.au with your February monthly overview. Take a look at the chart. What's really, really important is that we've just had a total lunar eclipse here in your 11th house. This is the sign of Leo. And have a look in the opposite side of the uh, horoscope here. The Sun, Mercury and Venus along with the nodes. <coughs> this is the creative area of your horoscope also to do with love affairs, children, the inner child and this area here the zone of uh, social activity, friendships so on and so forth. So you would expect that these planetary influences would very much bring to the fore those areas of your life. In fact here the position of Mercury shows you're very much thinking about how you can ramp up your creative instincts. If, for example, you'd been feeling a little obstructed uh, recently, this is certainly going to lift your confidence and give you at least um, the curiosity to seek out what it is you think is going to put you in that state that makes you feel happy. You know, this fifth house, fourth house as well, I've said to you, and for those of you that are new, um, welcome. The Saturn-Pluto combination here, over the you know the past few months, has started to impinge upon that sense of inner happiness. Fourth house is one's peace of mind and inner happiness. Also has to do with moral virtues, that sort of thing. Here, the fifth house has to do with your creativity, and when we're creating and doing what we love, of course, this sector of the horoscope is going to be much, much uh, more balanced and harmonious. You have a lot of drive this month, as shown by the uh, position of Mars in the third house. That's going to be activated even more when the moon comes around here, touches on Jupiter in your second house of finances around the 7th, 6th and 7th of February, and then around the 8th and 9th when it moves into this position with... Mars that makes you impulsive, it makes you bold. This is the house of communication and negotiations. We saw that opportunity for you when Moon was moving through this conjunction with Jupiter in your second house of finance. And look at that, the 11th house, North Node or Karmic Point. Some Western astrologers believe this has the combined influence of Jupiter and Venus. So it's very, very lucky here. It shows you're going to make your luck this month being driven to earn more money, to negotiate a better deal for yourself. Take a look over here as well. You're going to see Venus move out of, and actually all of these planets move out, except the nodes, into your sixth house after the 13th. So around the middle of the month, you'll start to see this sixth house being activated. But just before that, let me just go back one tick because this is also, again, bringing your attention back to your fifth house of creativity, love affairs. The new moon here, this one here, being in conjunction with the sun and Mercury, which is your luck planet. Absolutely excellent here for those of you that are single looking to connect. We saw the full moon activating that 11th house of social activities and now this fifth house of love affairs romance and creativity. This is actually the time during the new moon when you should venture out and do what it is you've maybe been a little bit too afraid to do, yet being a Libran you're always sort of second guessing yourself. Now's the time to act. Here we see the shift, so do that before around the 18th or 19th because then all of the focus is here into the sixth house of work, your daily routine, co-workers and also to some extent your health is going to be impacted by this combination of planets. Notice here Venus, your ruling planet in conjunction with Neptune. That can be confusing, especially when you've got the right angle to Mars here, bringing with it some, you know, maybe some quick uh, inflammatory complaints, little injuries that may occur. But also, you know, when you've got this uh, 
combination. It's sort of passing now. Mars and Neptune can give trouble with the type of medication, the food. These can be allergic reactions to your environment, to the work. <laughs> Sometimes we're allergic to the people we hang out with too. And you know that's probably true in your work. If you're being annoyed by those vampires who suck you psychically, you've got to get well away from that. So where are we here? We've got moon moving uh, way past the, uh, <laughs> the due date of the 28th. So let's not go too much past there. Moon finishing up there in the 11th house again. That's a nice position for it. But uh, generally towards the end of the month, most of your focus is going to be on your health, your, your work, your workplace environment, also debts, and anything else you have to balance out financially, which uh, is probably a flow on from that conjunction with Jupiter in your finance sector, the conjunction with Mars earlier in the month where you're renegotiating. And then coming to terms, the new moon shows us here, uh, especially because it moved into the sixth house, house, maybe looking at new ways to manage your money, your finances, and, and, and to really eliminate that debt if it's still uh, hanging over your head. Take a look at astrology.com.au, my website, my pride and joy, where I have a lot more information on the month of February for you, Libra. hope you'll take a look there. Uh, and I hope to see you again next month here, same time, same channel. Take care now. Bye-bye.